Last week, we learned how to divide and multiply fractions using different models. One of the models that we learned was called an array. Or, it is also called disks. To show that we have one-third of nine, and let's remember class, that of means to multiply. So really we have one-third times nine. Now, the nine tells us how many disks we're going to have in our array. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my disks in. Three disks. Now, our number, our denominator, tells us how many groups we're going to have. We're going to have, that's one group two groups and three. Now our numerator, let me get a different color. I'm going to choose orange. Never mind, because orange resembles red and that will be confusing. I will choose magenta. The numerator tells us how many of those groups we're looking for. Now this problem is asking us a third of nine. So we're going to highlight one group or shade in now, to get our answer to our problem, all we do is count up the groups that are shaded in. We have one group that is shaded in, and we have one, two, three disks. So we're asking for three disks out of the nine. So our answer for this problem would be three. Now, using the same problem, I would use our other model that we learned, which is called a tape. diagram. I'm going to go ahead and shift this paper up just a little bit. There we are. Now we are going to have, we know what a tape diagram looks like. It's just a big rectangle. So I will go ahead and draw my rectangle like so. Now I know the whole thing is equal to 9. This whole thing is equal to 9. That is because of the number that we are multiplying. Now, I need to know how many parts we have to equal that 9. Well, we know that we're going to have three groups, or in this case, three parts. Now, we are looking for how many of those parts? We are looking for one part. Which we do not yet know the answer of. To solve the to solve for this problem, we know that three parts, one, two, three, equals nine. Three parts equals the whole. Now, we must solve for one of these parts. 1 equals 9, our whole, divided by the parts to give us that one unit equals 3. Because 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now, if we were to write this in our division problem with our little house, our 9 would be on the inside and our 3 would be on the outside. 3 goes into 9 3 times to give us 9 with the remainder of none. So our 1 third equals 3. And how do we know? Because we have 3 in here, 3 in here, and 3 in here to make up the whole 9. Now, that we've gone over the two different models that we've done. Go ahead and put this on the screen for you guys. I will go over some of your math problems on your homework. Some of these are word problems and I'll display them larger on this side of the screen. Our first problem says, 
When someone donated 14 gallons of paint to Rosendale Elementary School, let's write down the important information in that one sentence. When someone donated 14 gallons of paint to Rosendale Elementary School, the fifth grade decided to use it to paint murals. They split the gallons equally among the four classes. That seems important to me, so I write down that we're working with four classes. How would we write this problem in a division sentence? Well, I know that I'm working with 14 gallons in four classes. We can split gallons into classes, so I would say that this problem goes 14 divided by 4. Because we can split gallons, we can't split those classes for the gallons. Now, we also know that this can also be written as 14 over 4. Now, to solve for this, I will go ahead and use a tape diagram. And I know that my first step is always to draw a rectangle, because that's what that looks like. And I know, because of this, that I am going to have four equal boxes. One, two, three, and four. Now, I am looking for what the hole is. This whole thing should be equal to 14. And we need to solve for the one unit to determine how much a paint each class is going to get. Well, I know already by turning this into a division problem that four units equals 14 or four classes is going to split the 14 gallons. I need to know what one unit is worth. Well, I know that 14 divided by my 4 will give me for one unit. So let's go ahead and solve for this problem. Here's our 14, and it will be on the inside. 4 goes into 14 at least 3 times to give us 12 with a remainder of 2 which means that we have two over four, three and a half. So with this statement, we are saying that one unit equals three, and I'm going, ahead, I'm going to simplify this for us, two fourths is equal to a half. So we're saying that there's each of the four classes are going to have three and a half gallons each. Now let's put that to the test. Three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half. Well, I like to count up all of my whole numbers first. One, two, three, four. Four times three is twelve. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I have a half and a half, which makes a whole and a half and a half, which makes another hole. So now we have 12, 13, 14. That number adds up exactly to how many gallons we have, which means that one unit does equal three and a half gallons, which means we would write our answer as each class receives three and a half gallons of paint for their murals. Okay, thank you and I hope this review helps you complete your homework. I will go ahead and look through your packet one last time before I end my video and see if I had any questions during class that will help me help you 
And yes, there's a couple more that we can go over. Let's just go ahead and do that. One of the questions on your Thursday homework looks something like this. 3 fourths times 16. Now, they don't want you to use a model. They want you to know and they want you to figure out that 3 times 4, 3 over 4 times 16 equals 3 times 16 over 4. And we can simplify 16 over 4 by simplifying it by 4. So we would do 4 divided by 4 and 16 divided by 4. Now, this would turn into 3 times over 1. 3 times 4 over 1, which equals 12. Now, I will go ahead and explain that to you. We're looking at this whole number as 16 over 1, which is still a whole number. So now we go ahead and multiply straight across. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times 16 is 3 times 16. Now we are going to simplify 16 and 4, because we can do that. Now 4 divided by 4 equals 1. The 3, we go ahead and slip that right on over. 16 divided by 4 gives us 4. And 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. And go ahead and finish up that homework assignment.